What's going on guys, Hayden back. We are here at Naples Motorsports in Naples, Florida at the Rimac Nevera unveiling. But I figured that would probably draw in some millionaires. And I had a few questions instead of sitting at my desk at home and actually going to the action and asking them how you can actually make a million dollars. Is there a secret? Is there something to it? Do they lease, finance, or even own their car? Let's try to find that out today. So let's check it out. increasingly difficult to figure out who is a car owner and who's not. You've been walking around and I can't tell if they own a, a supercar or a regular car. Let's see if we could get him over here. Some people are camera shy, others aren't. Hopefully this guy isn't, but we'll see. Can I ask you guys a few quick questions before you dip out of here? Okay. Uh, what specific car is this? This is a McLaren 675 LT 2016. You said you had others too? <laughs> yeah, we have a 620R. Super cool. And uh, 40 other cars, but I can't enumerate cars. them all. Lamborghinis, others. So. Wow. Do you own them, finance them, lease them? I'm a finance guy, but I pay cash for everything. So oh, wow. everybody okay. is different. We have two cars being delivered. One was delivered this week, a brand new 2022 MC20 Maserati. Yes, I'm uh, really Another cool. one's being delivered next week, 2022 Lamborghini Huracan STO. Okay. Our collection is a family collection. We pay cash. Did you go to college? And do you recommend going to college? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Okay. Get, get an education. I have two advanced degrees, yeah. Finance? <laughs> no, I have an undergraduate degree in accounting, I have a law degree, and I have a master's in economics. And you use them to get to where you are? I have multiple businesses. If you lost everything today, how would you be able to remake, let's say, a million dollars? Is there any tips to getting there? I would live in a van down by the river. No, I don't know. I, that's a, I, I can't answer that question. Is there any like secrets to building your wealth that got you where you are that other people might not be able to like figure out? Or is it just saving and investing? Like, well, yeah, saving and investing, but don't overspend. Don't, don't, don't buy things. So live below your means. Don't live. Yeah, live, live below your means, save more than you keep and, or keep more than you spend. It's that simple. And so there's no secrets? No, not really. Work, work hard. I mean, work, work hard. really hard and okay. go to school and and keep your nose clean. Yeah. Do the right thing all the time. Yeah. If you had any advice to tell yourself when you were 18 that you know now that you didn't know then, what would it be? I, I always live by one guiding principle, which is look to God for help and have faith and be optimistic and do good to others, at that, at which I always had that. I, yeah, that's great advice. So it seems there's really no secrets to finance or building wealth or getting these cars. It's really just saving long term you know avoid uh getting rich quick it's a it's a slow process to gradually build wealth that i try to explain on the channel and it seems like these supercar owners yet 40 cars seem to agree that that's that's it there's no secret you just gotta you know slowly invest over time and get lucky i guess so first question is what car did you bring here Porsche 911S. 911S, this is the new one, right? The 992? Yeah. Can I ask how much it's worth? Like, what does it retail for, MSRP? Right now? Oh, well, the original MSRP was about 129,000. And it went up, I assume, right? Or? It's probably worth about 145, 140, 150. Do you choose to lease, finance, or purchase it outright, these supercars? I bought it outright. Bought it. Why would you do that over, per se, leasing or financing? Is there, is there a reason? Well, leasing costs a lot more money. Why would you want to pay double by the time you're done? Yeah, that's true. And what about financing? Well, same thing. You know, financing rates are going crazy right now. In my mind, I don't want to pay more than I have to. Can I ask what you did to afford a car like this? Well, let's see. I'm, first of all, I'm going to be 82 this month. Oh, wow. So I'm retired a long time, but I was in the heavy equipment business. I bought and sold heavy equipment, and I also was a major auto wholesaler okay. for 30 years. Okay. Um, some other business so if let's say today you lost everything right and you had a restart from zero how would you be able to to make a million dollars is there a secret or a way well i don't know if i would have the energy to do it <laughs> i mean i would say i would try to get into some kind of business or whatever to try to make uh, you know what i know i mean i could certainly buy and sell heavy equipment or cars either one now i gotta ask did you go to college did you 
Are you self-employed? Two years. Yeah, self-employed. Wow. Okay. Yeah, two years. Um, okay. Do you think it's possible to get a car like this working a nine to five? No. No. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to be getting paid, uh, you know, lots of money an hour. You must. You got to have some kind of skill. Yes. To get paid big, you yes. know, working for somebody. Okay. But you can make a lot more money as an entrepreneur doing your own business and so forth, figuring out how to sell something, whatever you're going to sell, and yeah. what it costs, you know, it comes down to... You know. So, and you said two years of college, so do you think college is important or do you think it's necessary? What I think is necessary to really make a, a lot of money, street smarts. Street smarts. That's what you need. Okay. okay? You got to have street smarts. Okay. You ain't got that. You ain't making it. That's that's what that's my opinion. I mean, college education is fine and so forth, but that depends. College education is good for doctors, engineers, you know, uh, people that are, uh, you know, dentists, somebody like that, lawyer. But just uh, for a regular job, hard. I would say a person wants to really make it and not be professional. Got to be sales. Sales it has to be sales. So that's where you can go into. Exactly. exactly. I could be in any. Everybody of, needs I some be, sales experience. I could be in any money. kind of sales exactly. position and be able to make a profit. So this is fully electric, all electric car. There is almost two two thousand horsepower. Acceleration is from zero to sixty in one point eighty five seconds. Quarter mile is eight point five seconds. So what car is it exactly that you have? I have the uh, GT. The McLaren GT? Yes, correct. How much does that like, I know retail and what it is currently are, are different values. You know what they are? I think that car is probably in the $250,000 range. Do you choose to like lease, finance, or own? I've been hearing different things from people. I prefer to lease that car. Lease? Yeah. And why do you lease over owning a car? Well, this particular yeah. car, I would prefer to lease it because I don't want to be in the car after the warranty runs out. Do you mind if I ask what do you do for a living in order to afford something like that? Well, finally retired. Hey, there you go. <laughs> there you go. What'd you retire from? Uh, we owned a company. We sold industrial electrical automation. Did you go to college to do something? Because I believe that's self-employed. It's your own business you started. Yeah, I have a college degree, though. Okay. And what is the college degree? It's a management in? degree. Manage did you use it? I did, I did, and if we needed electrical expertise, somebody with a, like a PE stamp, we'd, we'd buy the stamp and we'd have a guy do it. Do you think today it's important to have a college degree or as important as it was when you went to college? I think it's important to work. It's important to work. That's my opinion, and not everybody needs a college degree to work. Do you think it's possible to be able to afford a car like you have uh, working a nine to five, or is it only really self-employed people that are able to afford a car like that? Um, I don't honestly think a 9 to 5 guy is going to be able to afford a car like that. So it's usually self-employed people? I think, or people high achievers. Yeah. Knowing what you know now, if you were 18, what, could, what advice could you give your younger self to get to a million dollars? I think uh, anything with high achieving possibilities. So, but I, you know, I think the people in sales are the guys that make the dough, let's face it. Somehow, right after this interview, we ran into somebody who Daniel Mack had previously interviewed in California, which I thought was pretty cool to be able to talk to her. What do you do for a living? Well, first thing is, uh, what, what car did you bring here? I brought a Pagani Wire Roadster. And what is that worth? Like, how much is that worth in today's market? It's a hyper car. Is it seven figures, six figures? It's seven figures. It's a seven figure car. Full carbon, I saw? Fully carbon, Super yes. cool. This car was actually shown at the Geneva Motor Show. Okay. And it's their prototype number five. Very cool. And you said you had other cars, too. I do. I have a Wire Roadster BC and then uh, McLaren's and Pagani's and Ferraris as well. How were you able to afford the Pagani, if you don't mind me asking? I mean, originally, going way back, um, I was working for my dad and I had my sales bonus. And okay. I just started investing very small. Originally, I had um, commissions and I put them into, you know, initially it was a savings account, and then a money market account, and then to CDs, and then to bonds. And then eventually I bought into private equity and um, true stocks. But at that point I've been given some money um, to invest for the future. Okay. And that is what I've grown for well over 10 years. You think college is important? And did you go to college? I absolutely went to college. <laughs> I think it's very important. Mm -hmm. I think in today's world, it, if 
you're starting from nothing, it helps to actually have gone to college and get a graduate degree. But for me, I have a marketing major. Same and here. <laughs> that is what has, I've used for all the fundraising I've done. That, is that basic core, as well as working for my dad as a sales and marketing manager, is all based on marketing. So I have seen it change my life. There's no way you're going to know what it takes until someone's helped teach you. Yeah. And wherever that may come from, okay. that's the key. Is to, to continuously learn, and even in my own life, even in my my marketing, my investments, my fundraising, I always need to keep learning. Do you think it's possible to purchase a car like the Pagani, working a nine to five? I don't know a single one of my friends who own an exotic car, or a supercar, or a hypercar that ever works nine to five. They work seven days a week, basically lived and slept with the business and built their businesses. So I, I just think that's the kind of effort you need to make yeah. to really go places, no matter what industry you're in. Do you think there's like a secret to making a million dollars that people might not know about? Or is it truly just hard work, perseverance, dedication, and it takes a while to get there? In my experience, which is really all I can speak from, of course. it takes time. Yeah. There's no way. There's no get rich quick. I don't believe in it. If it is, there's something fishy. Yeah. Or it'd be somewhat dangerous, and I wouldn't recommend doing that. Yeah. I, I just, I, something that sounds too easy. I wouldn't trust from the beginning. And my last question is, if you lost, let's say, everything, you had to restart today uh, yes. and get yourself back to like a million dollars, how would you do that? I'd have at least three jobs. Okay. I would not sleep a lot. I'd okay. work a lot. Yes. I would try to learn something about an industry that I thought was a growth potential and work for somebody, learn from them, and then see if there's a way I could branch out okay. and make it my own. So I wasn't taking from them. I found some new twist to it that I could make a new business with. So I'm, I'm noticing a pattern. It's always find a way to make your own business, to be your own entrepreneur, to work for yourself. That seems to be the key from all these interviews I've done today. That's <laughs> what I know. That's what I've seen. That's what I believe is what made each of those individuals wealthy. All right, guys, so that's pretty much wrapping up today's video. Hopefully you guys learned something. Definitely make sure to like and subscribe because I do find it quite interesting. And I think we do learn a lot about investing finance the real way outside of college.